Let me, yeah, let me just tell the judge I'm okay. here. So we're not here.
Despite that stress, you all worked with me to ensure a safe and respectful environment for everyone here. And although they are not a party to the case, I want to acknowledge the work of the first responders to the site of this event. Their diligence and training did save Mackenzie's life. And they tried to save Dominic and Damian, even though they were there too late. In a bench trial, the judge sits as the jury and the finder of fact as well as a ruler of law. And it is a reminder of just how difficult a job it is to serve as a finder of fact. Whether it's a bench trial or a jury trial, the rules of law are the same. The instructions for weighing credibility and evidence, the admonition to set aside any bias, prejudice or sympathy, and the oath to follow the law as the law is written. <clears throat> These rules of law are incumbent on every trier of fact. I have done what I am sworn to do. I have carefully and deliberately considered all the evidence in this case, including the testimony of the witnesses, the science, the expert opinions offered, the medical evidence, the physical evidence, the photographs, and the video evidence. There is nothing that I can do or say today that will return these two young men to their families. There is nothing I can say or do that will restore Mackenzie Sherrilla to the life she had before July 31st, 2022. And there is nothing that I can say or do to restore the lives of these three families before the fateful moments on that day. This trial is a culmination of decisions made by one person, the defendant. Those decisions have forever altered the futures of three families, and of you also, Mackenzie. And your decisions forever robbed Dominic and Tavion of the futures that they had before now. If there is one thing that can be taken away from this case, as painful as it is, it is this. <clears throat> 
Every decision we make is important. Every action we make is important. Regardless of whether the decision is a good one or a bad one, or the actions are good or not, the result is the same. The consequences ripple through time and affect many more people than one might think at the time of the decision. In criminal cases, the state carries the greatest burden under our law, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. As I previously stated, I considered all the evidence presented, and at this point I would like to comment specifically on Exhibit 802, the crash video. This is the type of evidence you can never unsee. You can never forget the visual or audio of this exhibit. It is chilling and tragic. As you review that exhibit, you know that you are watching the oncoming deaths of two people, and there is nothing that will stop it. The video clearly shows the purpose and intent of the defendant. She chose a course of death and destruction that day. Exhibit 802 crystallizes the deadly decision making of the defendant. She morphs from a responsible driver to literal hell on wheels as she makes her way down the street. Mackenzie alone made the decision to drive her car, to drive an obscure route, a route she visited a few days before, and a route not routinely taken by her. Mackenzie alone chose the time to make the drive early in the morning when any reasonable person would expect a few people would be nearby to witness it or offer life-saving assistance. She made these decisions despite knowing, as any reasonable person would, that her mission of death could have involved others, not even in the car with her, other people, other cars, pedestrians. She had a mission and she executed it with precision. The mission was death. Mackenzie alone decided to push the pedal to the floor and demand the ultimate speed of that vehicle to 90 to 100 miles per hour. She alone decided what was to be. Mackenzie decided death was the ultimate goal that day, and she alone made that decision for Dominic and Debian, and she continuously acted in a manner to achieve her purpose. Whether or not she intended to also kill herself is a matter of speculation and no relevance to the weighing of the evidence in this case. The totality of the evidence clearly demonstrates that Mackenzie Shirilla acted purposely and intentionally in the early morning hours of July 31st, 2022, her purpose was to kill Dominic Russo and the Town of Landon. No reasonable fact finder could view the totality of this evidence in this case and come to any other conclusion. Her actions were controlled, methodical, deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. This was not reckless driving. This was murder. Court renders the following verdicts. Count one. The court, having had count one tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Dominic Russo in violation of Harry Vice Code section 2903.02a is charged in count one. Count two. The court, having had count two tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Davion Flanagan violation of a revised code section 2903.02a is charged in count two of the indictment. <clears throat> count three, murder. The court having had count three tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant Mackenzie Shirilla guilty of murder to wit Dominic Russo in violation of a revised code section 2903.02b is charged in count three. Count four, murder. The court, having had count four tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, Shirilla, guilty of murder, to wit Dominic Russo in violation of a Harry Vice Code section 2903.02b as charged in count four. Count five, felonious assault. The court, having had count five tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault, to wit Dominic Russo in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2903.11 of the Revised Code is charged in Count 5 of the indictment. Count 6, felonious assault. The court, having had Count 6 tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault, 
to with Dominic Russo in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2903.11A2 as charged in Count 6. Count 7, felonious assault. The court, having had Count 7 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sharilla, guilty of felonious assault to with Davion Flanagan in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2903.11A1 as charged in Count 7. Count 8, felonious assault. The court, having had Count 8 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sharilla, guilty of felonious assault to wit Davion Flanagan in violation of the Heart Advice Code Section 2903.11A2 as charged in Count 8. Count 9, aggravated vehicular homicide. The court, having had Count 9 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sherilla, guilty of aggravated vehicular homicide to wit Dominic Russo in violation of the Heart Advice Code Section 2903.06A2A as charged in Count 9. Count 10, aggravated vehicular homicide. The court, having had Count 10 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sherilla, guilty of aggravated vehicular homicide to wit Davian Flanagan in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2903.06A2A as charged in Count 10. Count 11, drug possession. The court, having had Count 11 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sherilla, guilty of drug possession in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2925.11A as charged in Count 11. Count 12, possessing criminal tools. The court, having had Count 12 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sherilla, guilty of possessing criminal tools in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2923.24A as charged in Count 12. The court, having had count 12 tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Sherilla, guilty of possessing criminal tools and further finds the defendant did intend to use a substance, device, instrument, or article to wit the digital scale to commit the offense of a felony. Sentencing will be one week from today, August 21st at 1 p.m. If any party wishes to file a sentencing memorandum, it is to be filed by 4 p.m. on Thursday, August 17th. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, baby. Love you. 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 Love